Hey guys, this is East for the Eastern Cat in Janelle. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. So last time we went through the bottom warehouse C area of the Team Galactic base and now we're gonna go in through the front door because they left a key there. Why you would leave a key in a warehouse so that people can walk in your front door is a complete mystery to me, but we're in. Hello, how are you today? Great. Go. Cool. So we can now just waltz around and no one really cares because we were able to go through the front door. Wait. Can I, was it always able to come through here? Do I need to open this? Well, front door open. Okay. So there's nothing around here, I believe. Where's this going? Wow. Cool. I came in through another door because there's three doors. Hey, wait, this is different. What the heck? What the heck's this? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, okay, this doesn't work. Okay. And, oh, right, I got something from the other side. Okay. That really confused me for a moment there. Alright, so we're gonna go up to the second floor, and then there should be a bunch of dudes that we need to beat up because apparently they don't like the fact we're on the second floor. And I'm gonna switch you! Why did my thing fly all the way down here? Switch you to the front! And we shall now head upstairs. Alright, so now we're inside the headquarters properly, and there's people standing around really suspiciously because they need to fight us. And this could have actually been a double battle. Dugong! Oh my god, the level 40. I feel so unleveled right now. Head to Dark Type, well, screw me too. Um. Can. Okay! One hit killed me! Why the hell does that have a one hit kill attack? And why the hell does that have speed boost? Okay, can bug types take ice attacks? Actually, if it's got sheer cold, it doesn't matter. I should probably just not get sheer cold again. Alright, well, that was a complete, um, failure of a start. Stupid thing has the one hit kill move. You know, we're like so close to entrance, I'll just go outside and pick up something else, but that was a real bummer. That's kind of the problem since um, I'm basically not bothering to trade at all at this point. Just so the randomizer is a bit more crazy. Because what actually appears in front of my face actually kind of matches. Since when I did actually train a lot, I felt like um, a lot of the enemy stuff was just like either randomly like really weak. Or there's just like weird things anyway, and I got Ice Fang, so I think I'm gonna get an Aurora Beam, but I believe my physical attack is higher. Or well, I'd like to believe that, and hopefully I'm not retarded. The chance of that happening is really high, but... Alright, so, Lickitung. I believe you're an electric type, which doesn't help me at all. Okay, uh... Here we go. Now why is this thing 38? Yeah, piece of shit. Take that. Did I go hit my rock smash? Very good. I didn't actually expect that, but that worked out for me. Cause rock smash was actually trash. Okay, so we're just gonna annihilate your face and goodbye. All right. You know, with this red time having like some die on me, the fact that I'm still carrying an egg makes me look really brave. And you know, the other thing that gets attached to brave, stupid. Yeah, I feel like carrying an egg right now is incredibly stupid, but I don't have any Pokemon left to freaking take over it. I feel like all the stuff I have left is are really weak. Alright, um, let's come back to the Pokemon Center after one battle because of sheer cold, of all things. Uh, 
Uh, what do I have left? I don't feel like I've got anything with like half decent levels left. I feel like the game's like forcing me to like train at some point or like I don't know. Um, Alright, so you. I need to take the item off you. Twisted spoon because psychic type and Zen headbutt or well, physical damage is great. Um, so all right, so you. Oh my god, my list of stuff that like did as hell. I've got three rows of dead stuff now. That's like eight. Yeah, I've like killed eighteen things already, and I only have what? Okay, I've got more than eighteen things left, but they're all trash. Do I have anything that's like mildly high level? Not really, unless I want to take a bug, take the stupid bug splat with me. Because what I think was it. The last couple of things I've tried to catch are either absolute trash, have blown up on me, roared me away, or, or ran away on its own. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty accurate what's happened. Um, I don't have any choices left, do I? When is the next time I can catch that? Let me just take a quick peek. Uh, Mount Carnet self sick of a spear pillar, really? We'll go all the way up to spear pillar. Alright, I don't think I can catch anything for a while, but there sh should be... Um... Because the next spot includes a legendary and also a new area, so I should be able to catch stuff there, but that seems like a really... Annoying part that I don't know if I can actually complete because I've got so little freaking um, Pokemon left that are like even half decent level. Uh, all right, you're coming with me, Nagoon. All right, I'm gonna run two things with EXP share because I'm crazy, really, really crazy. You're still holding an EXP share, aren't you? I have so many of these dumb things. Alright. This feels like a terrible idea, but I'm going straight back in. Send this X please carry me. At some point I'm just gonna like give up on not like, using any anything and just use Santa's X through the whole thing. And use the Gen 1 strategy of just train your starter. You know it wasn't my starter, my starter died horribly. Actually how did my starter? Oh wait, it was Dragon Rage. 40 damage when you only had 60 health, that was horrible. Alright! Again! Let's go! But this person also has two things. The gold bat. That's not so bad actually. Uh, actually wait, just make a wing attack concert. Uh, let me test that fairy. You know... I'm relying on your ants, that's being originally dragon type here. Okay, no, no, no. Don't get poisoned, and we'll be fine, alright? Crit! And we're splitting the HP like crazy now. Abra! I don't feel threatened by Abra! I don't think I should be that cocky though, because I feel like they can do something weird sometimes. Actually no, um... I know, like, trainers of Abra that have, like, sit in the game have hidden power purely so that the trainer can fight me, but... If it's a randomizer giving them an Abra, I really don't think this thing can, um... Do anything of, like, actual threat to me. I can't! Good! Good, good, good! I am going to have so much fun kicking your ass. Discharge! I had so much fun kicking your ass. Hey, pretty free! Alright, down we go, across we go, and where do we go from here? Where's this in the face? Second floor! So, first floor, second floor, should be in the middle, go through. Um, 
Then use each of the warp panels, so the swing. Hey, it's looking. Am I supposed to be here? Okay, uh, this is what you have to go through afterwards, so I'm gonna go look for these warp panels which get you items hello sir. Okay, he's only got one thing. That was a lot less scary than it should have been. I, uh, well, I can intimidate. That's like the, probably the least intimidating thing I've seen in a while. Alright, Rock Smash. That worked surprisingly well. It didn't work that well. Uh, what type of one would be? Um, dark, Rock, or Steel. But I should be able to cut through over Dragon Core unless it's Steel. Okay, it's not Steel. That's a good start. But I don't. Okay, my Rock Smash does as much damage as my Dragon Core. Unless I just Rock Smash again. And this thing's clinging onto me after intimidating my face. I kind of forget that Clan Pearl is like absurdly tense, because I think no matter how it evolves, the loser's always tankiness. Alright! You do look pathetic. Now sit down. Okay, the TV's on, but I don't think that matters. What we should do is go this way. Oh, so these are two wall panels. The Pokemon statues are Eterna. Would you like to read it? No. Okay, so this is item number one. It's a middle play. Great, another play. Three beings were born to find time and space cool. I think that means I've actually got every play. I'm pretty sure, like, if I went into my items and actually ordered this stuff, I could probably find out I've got every goddamn play in this freaking game. <laughs> and a dragon thing, hey, that's actually, might be useful. Um, you, what? Actually, why did I never give you a, why are you holding this stuff? Why did I never give you the, um, crit for this fish? I really was afraid of you, losing you once in a while. Uh, I'm gonna give you the Dragon Fang. Wait, oh yeah. is the Dragon Fang the attack cup for dragons or is it something else? Who the hell is it? Is it right at the bottom? Okay, Dragon type moves! Dragoon! Alright, you don't have a good exit strategy now because you can get KO'd by something, but we will deal with it. Somehow. Honestly, if I lose one more thing, I'm probably got. I'm probably super done. Alright, look at what are we looking at? How did they not notice this guy? That's cool, we don't really care what you're thinking. Because everyone's got these crazy ideas, but then they never execute on it properly. You know they get slightly better at it with each game. I still like how these guys believe that. Like, after a while, all the um, evil teams per se in Pokemon basically say, You know what? There's a legend that this thing can do this, so we're gonna go get it so that we can basically reenact a legend and not base it on any kind of facts, even though they have scientists like all over their bases usually. Okay. And then I guess we just keep going left behind Looker. And we shall walk to somewhere else. Alright. Hold on, actually, we're going to find out a wolf out that will take you near to the floor. Um, we can rest all this here. So, how do I rest? Wait, what? That was not what I was trying to do, but okay, I'll take that. Wait, how? Do 
Okay, here we go. But that was supposed to be the um, polka doll that was hidden, and I got a toxic orb instead. I find it funny that there's a polka doll here. Because evil, pe evil teams that try to act tough definitely need one. Alright, so this is a double battle. But seriously, can I have my egg hatcher in? I feel like I've been walking all over the place with it. And then I'll find out what useless thing I've decided to hatch and not train other things during that whole period of time. And I like burping like crazy, I don't know why. Alright, so there are two and a three. I do not feel threatened at all. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should take out the tail over first, because when give up my screw would be really hard. So, I don't know... I should know what typing you are, but I can't remember. Um, and I'm gonna try and destroy you. I destroyed you. Okay, that works. That works really well for me. I'm also splitting the EXP for things that don't give EXP for shit, and between four things, and it's not working. Oh, I have Psychic Card, what's that? Ow. Okay, your whimsy is like really freaking whimsy, flippy. What? What am I trying to say? I fully lost the word of mine. Then. Okay, I should probably destroy you as well. Wimpy, that's it. Why did I lose that word? I fully lost that word somewhere, and I couldn't think of it. Really. Are you really gonna do that to me? You really want me to drag and race you to the ground? Alright, so you just lost all your stats, so I'm actually gonna switch you out because I don't feel like fighting with those stats. And then we're gonna bite you in the- actually no, we're gonna quick attack you in the face. Hopefully, um, actually no, you can't be a ghost type because the bite is super effective. And pop you! Goodbye! Never come back please. That's super effective, but it doesn't matter because you don't have any muscle behind that. Okay, so the person on the left only has one thing left, a new metal. I should probably destroy you because you're definitely more threatening than a skinny. Uh, this ship could discharge. Well, this could be a problem. You know what? Tank it. Super cocky move, but tank it. Discharge! Alright, you are never seeing a double battle ever again. That's a ground type. It's good thing you're tanky as hell. Alright. There's an Earth Ring! Suddenly the freight level went straight up and you're getting the hell out of here because you're not going to be doing anything in the fight like this. Alright, you can come back out, your stats are reset now. And then we're just going to bite you down because... why not? Actually, could an Earth Ring punch me in? Because that thing's a lot of That way you have a lot of physical attack and it could definitely do a fight, in my memory. Or at least have an impression it can do a fight. And that impression is false, I don't know where the impression came from. Oh, I'll get things attack as well. Ow. How much is that gonna hurt me? Ow. Alright, but at least it's not a... Um... Pursuit. So I'm just gonna, like, get the hell out of dodge. And switch out. It's a stereotype, I believe. So we're gonna rock smash you. You don't really have anything. I don't want to surf on top of anyone. I'm gonna use strength. Okay. 
This should technically be my strongest move, but there's also a stair behind it. Alright, so that gets rid of that guy, and that's a double battle done. Well, since we're so conveniently close to the bed, we're just gonna go back down and heal up, cause why the hell not? Alright, so the next bit is gonna be an interesting part, cause I believe we're up to um, Cyrus now. Uh, he might destroy me cause he's got like 44, 44, 46 I believe. Let me just take a peek here at this. Yeah, 44, 44, 46. So if those things aren't randomized to be absolute trash, he's probably gonna destroy me. Based on what I have left. Because most of my firepower has been lost completely. Uh, okay, so let's go. Um, the upper right one takes you to where you can find a protein. So we'll do the item free here. A lucky. Wow. I can actually grind now. Holy shit. Alright, I don't know if I should use that right now. I should probably keep my actual combat. Um, the upper left one will keep another one. Here. Well, that was a lot less exciting than the Lucky Egg, but they're both leveling based items, so which is actually kind of interesting. Alright, now for the Great Fail. You know what, just in It doesn't really mean anything to you, I say, but just in case the thing crashes, but I don't feel like dealing with this again. You know, technically if it crashes, I can, I can cheat a bit and just say, like, stuff doesn't happen. Come on! There we go, alright. Alright, so that is Cyrus. I am currently running Mr. Rockin' in the front. I feel like this is a terrible idea, but we are going inside. Hello! How are you? Great speech, and to a battle. Alright, let's see how the game decides to treat me here. I can't remember what type thing you were supposed to be, but... Dragon Claw. A Dragon Type. And then it became a bug and psychic when it evolved into a leafy and I was really salty about it. That's what happened. And it killed itself. Alright, that's 144 down. That was a lot better than expected. Sure. I don't feel any threat from that. I don't know why. I can't remember what that is and that's really worrying me, but I don't feel any threat from that. I have a very good reason not to feel any threat from it. Also, it's 46, so the game is treating me pretty nicely right now. Actually, wait. Oh no, I'm a bug type. I can eat glass attacks. Was it? I thought it was a bug type. Uh, that stops me from going to sleep, Matt. Actually, no, that changes my ability, so that might have affected me a little bit. Why can't everything take down? That is scary. And also whack this out really hard to hit, I'm gonna drain for you one more time. I'm actually curious at what it's 44 was, but usually the AI doesn't throw out the strongest thing. They usually actually go in scaling order unless they um they specifically need a strategy to like beat you, because they can work out what's 
the Ispion. Okay, well, you're a psychic touch, so you can definitely ease up the psychic attacks. It's also for the Broken Eye. Well, it also doesn't bite me down, I guess it's okay. But I think Ispion runs down, like, most of its, uh, physical attack for special attack. Let's go to EB Ward, you are kind of fight to do with the hit of me, and that really fracking hurt! Alright! Well, I can swift, so there's no point in me sand attacking here. I may as well just see if this is super effective, which I doubt. Yeah, let's have a look. Magical Leaf is... Actually super effective, but that doesn't help because my freaking special attack is actually trash. And I really need Razor Leaf instead of Magical Leaf. Um, alright, wait, so it's weak to... Brass, it's strong, it's not strong to anything else that I have worked. How so... Uh, water type, um, uh, rock type or ground type? Uh, I am going to try and see if you're a ground or rock type. Okay. So now we're fighting on more even footing, so I'm going to try and blast you. So you're either a rock or ground type, and that really hurt you a lot. Because Surf is actually okay. It's one of the best water moves for a big, for it being an HM move. The Goon! I still like how he's just like, I'm Eve, I'm like this guy who wants to make a perfect world. Yeah, have some money because you bit me. And he gives us a Master Ball, which I already have one of. I should probably just like throw one. Actually no, um, we're coming up to the Legendary, so I just throw the Master Ball to those things, I think. Oh, wait, when? what do I do actually in the next level? But there's still another bit, so I'm not gonna look at it yet, I'll look at it later. Alright, so there's one more battle against Saturn before we can, uh, actually, uh, finish this part, so we're just gonna heal up real quick, because it's here and I may as well use it since it's not actually that far away, but I decided to save potions for no particularly good reason, but that's how I work. Alright, so Saturn is weaker than Cyrus, but he's also sitting on 42, 44, 42, so if the randomizers us to screw me here, I'm still screwed. But it should be okay, I believe. It's optimistic, but may as well believe at this point, so... Uh, I think we'll just start with um, Rockin' again, and hope we can slice through people. What's this? I guess that leads us outside. Yep. Wait, is there more uh, trainer battles here? Okay, um... Well, let me have a look at this. Okay, got Mystic Water. What's the scientist? Okay, so he's just there, and then we need to come along here. Is this not a scientist? What did they actually make? I don't know the um. Is this a Garrett? No, this is some um, Uxie. Hello, how are you? Alright, so this is a session with 42, 44, 42. He actually had the bronzer. He's supposed to have a bronzer and he actually had the bronzer. That's actually incredibly amazing. I'm gonna try a uh, dragon for you. 
It's a dragon time! And I hurt it one hell of a lot. Someone has gotta get nuked, but it's not gonna be me. Get the hell out of dodge. The only difference is that his bronzer was supposed to be in in the back and not the starting Pokemon, because the starting thing was supposed to be a Golbat. Ghastly. Uh, if it's got ghost attacks, I can't absorb them like this. Uh, let's see. Ice Fang. Oh great, a dark attack. Ow. You know, I swear, that looks a lot more like a ghost attack than a dark attack. The great thing, this thing is so freakishly frail. And I would enjoy biting your ass. Wow, the randomizer screwed at you guys so hard. Alright, so the most threatening thing we've seen today was a dugong. Like, a dugong. Like, like are you serious? A freaking dugong? As much as an annihilator while my Pokemon is still. Just like the only threatening thing I think we've seen all day. It's a fire type! Funny that. The only bad thing right now is that since um, the randomizer basically flattened out everything in here, I have not gotten much EXP at all through this whole area, and it's resulting in my team being even weaker than it should be. It's really starting to get worried. I mean, I think I'm getting to a point where the wild Pokemon are like in line with like my levels. And if you've ever played Pokemon, you know that's a terrible thing, but it means that the trainers are probably stronger than you. I'm going to have to uh, actually fight the wild Pokemon as I walk to the next place. Pop! Uh-huh. And he's gone. Alright, but anyways, that should do it for this whole area in Veilstone inside the base. Everyone's kind of just appeared from here now, so we should be able to leave. But next time, I believe we'll be going up Mount Coronet to go to the Spear Pillar where it's the Legendary War. So that will be interesting. I don't know how that's gonna work but um... Actually no, I could just look at that right now. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see, you go through Mount Coronet. You go to the lower summit which means I can actually catch something for a change. Uh, you go to the upper summit which means I can catch another thing. And you get to the summit and you catch a third thing, that's actually really wonderful. Cause I'm actually following the rules pretty tightly and not catching things between floors, so technically floors the Pokemon changes with the uh, randomizer. I'd have so much more things if I actually like uh, caught things based on rooms, since the randomizer changes uh, what gets caught in each room, but I didn't know that, so that rule was set in. Okay, spear pillar. Um and then uh, you do a multi-battle with Barry against Mars and Jupiter, and then you uh... Dialga and Palkia aren't part of this. Oh, okay, so Giratina's there as well. If that's anything decent, it should be like a level 70 um, Giratina once you actually get to it, but I think you had to go for Distortion World for that. Um, yeah, so we should be able to catch a decent number of Pokemon because it's what the... Uh, I can't catch anything in Mount Coronet. 
I think because we've technically been there but we can go for one of the lower summit, one of the upper summit Apparently, and then there's another bit in the summit, so that's three things, because there's nothing in a spear pillar. Uh, specifically, so... Three more things, and then we'll be into the big legendary part of the game against Giratina, or whatever Giratina's gonna get replaced by, because it's probably, it's probably something completely useless. And screw me because of that. So anyways, that'll be it for this episode of Pokemon. Platinum randomizer, not stop if you want to follow in the series, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.